Yo, yo, what is up guys, your boy is Kage here with a new what if, and this what if is what if Deku was trained by Light Yagami, wait what, Light Yagami, how is Deku gonna be trained by him, well, stick around to find out, so let's get right into the what if. So, Light actually became a Shinigami after he died. So, Shinigamis will be in the world of my hero. So, that's how, you know. So, that's how I'll incorporate him in this story. So, we begin at the Sludge Villain incident. Everything has gone normal up to this point. So, Izuku is walking down the alleyway when he hears the manhole cover like being lifted up. So, he turns around to obviously see what's happening and then he turns around to see the Slug monster. Sludge, not Slug. I mean, he kind of looks like a slug, just saying. But it goes to attack Izuku, but before he can even get close to him, the sludge monster literally just drop dead, drop, drops dead in front of him. And Izuku is confused at what just happened. And as he's trying to figure out why he just saw a notebook landed right next to him, like falling from the sky. So Izuku like looks up to see if someone on any of the buildings like dropped their book, but you know he sees no one. So he picks it up and, you know, remembering that Bakugo burnt his notebook before, you know, he left school. So while the slug monster is still lying on the ground, Izuku takes a bit of time to look through the book. It's, it's completely blank. And on the cover, it has some instructions. You know, it's, it says, the person whose name is written in this book will die. And obviously, Izuku's first thought is, this is fake. But, you know, he puts it in his bag just in case. So right after that, All Might lands in front of Izuku saying, I am here. But, you know, is and then, uh, you know, Izuku, this is the normal Izuku. He starts fanboying over All Might, like saying, oh my god, it's All Might. And then All Might looks at the dead slug monster. I keep saying slug. <laughs> the dead sludge monster. And looks at Izuku and, you know, he's trying to connect two and two. Because Izuku does not look threatening. And, you know, Izuku sees that he's, you know, he thinks that he killed the monster. But he's like, wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm quirkless. And All Might is suspicious, but Izuku looks hella weak. So, you know, he's just said, alright, kid. And then he bottles up the sludge villain. So, uh, as he goes to jump off, Izuku grabs onto his legs, forcing All Might to land. And, you know, when they do land, All Might debuffs and Izuku is weirded out by, you know, this new form of All Might. But All Might explains his injury and uh, stuff like that. So, since the slug villain is dead, slug, there it is again. <laughs> since the sludge villain is dead, you know, he wouldn't escape or take, host take Bakugo hostage. So, none of that happens. So, after their talk, All Might realizes that Izuku, you know, he's... He really wants to be a hero. Like, he's really enthusiastic about it. So, he tells him, like, encouraging words. He doesn't just shoot him down, like, no. So, he says, uh, you know, he says, like, if you really want to be a hero, you have to try your very best. You have to train until you drop. You have to out train everyone. And, you know, Izuku, he gets, like, inspired by this, yeah, being up uplifted. So, All Might, uh, you know, he leaves, he walks down the stairs because he can't jump off the building, he's in his, like, skinny form. So, Izuku was left on the roof alone and he begins thinking and then realizes that he had that one notebook left in his bag. So, he takes it out and, you know, he wants to te test it out, you know, maybe it's fake, maybe it's not, he just wants to see. So, he has to choose someone who isn't really close to him because from the off chance that it is real, he doesn't want to be connected to the murder, so he doesn't want to write his mom's name or, you know, someone close to him, basically. So, he picks a villain that has been rising through the ranks recently. You know, he's he's new to the whole villain show. So, uh, you know, he's killed more people than any of the top villain organizations like the LOV or uh, the Shie Hasaikai. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. So... Izuku realizes that this guy, you know, once he kills him, he'll know almost immediately. His name, Akemi Sato. His quirk is basically Shigaraki's quirk, but he has 
ultimate control over the over the decay so he can control uh like how long until they de how, how long until they decay and you know he only has to make contact with one finger so it could even be a day a week or even a month after he touches you however long he wants so you know that actually sounds like a, a sick what if power yeah i might write that down anyways uh izuku you know he writes down the name in his book and waits 40 seconds because that's what it says in the rules so he watches his watch until it ticks down until 40 seconds and he goes to the edge of the building to look at one of those like TVs on the side of the building that's always playing the news for some reason. So right on the TV it started playing like breaking news, the new villain Akemi Sato was found dead in the streets, you know, from a heart attack, like dead in the streets of Tokyo. So hearing this Izuku like backs up in shock off the edge of the building and he's thinking like his hands are shaking like did I just kill someone? So while this is all going through his head, Izuku hears something behind him and you know like he turns around and sees a dark figure flying right above the ground. It was light, like light Yagami in a Shinigami form. And light extends his hand to like shake Izuku but he starts backing up and he forgets he's on the edge of the building and he backs up right off the building and he like slips off and starts falling. And you know the bril the building is pretty short, so he has like four seconds to be turned into a pancake. And you know, but before the flashbacks could start kicking in, like "Mom, I'm sorry, I died," stuff like that, you know, uh, he stops falling. And you know, uh, it was Light who grabbed his leg and pulled him back up to the building. Light says, "Wow, am I that ugly as a Shinigami?" And Izuku is like, ooh, 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 "Wait, are you a god of death?" And Light just nods and you know he explains why he is here and basically the whole reason he's here to toy around with people just like um just like Ryuk, yeah. So he just came to toy around with the humans, you know. What's more fun than messing up human lives? Like, am I right? So um So you know Light goes uh but instead of what Ryuk was, he said he wasn't with Light or against Light. But in this, Light is gonna be, you know, working, like working to actually help Izuku out. Unlike Ryuk, like is like Light had to blackmail him, bribe him, do all that stuff to even let him do anything. So after, um, so after their talk with uh, Izuku with. A light he accepts that god or god of death are an actual thing you know because one is right in front of him and he goes home so his mom isn't home yet and in this izuku's mom like inko is actually the captain of the investigation branch of the japanese police force so she normally gets home late and izuku goes into his room he you know he like he goes to his desk and he opens up the death note he's just staring at the blank pages and he's just thinking just the amount of villains he can take down with this power so izuku turn, turns on the tv and he was going to write down every single name that came up on the news and you know before he could light stops him saying first off kid i won't make you make any of the mistakes i did so first read all the rules before you start writing names and Izuku was going to say something, but light just disappears through the roof, like flies through his roof. So Izuku just huffs and says, ah, fine, sure, okay. And he starts reading the rules of the Death Note. And if you're interested, the rules are up on screen right now. But yeah, if you watch the anime, you already know what all the rules are and stuff like that. So Izuku goes through them and realizes that he can control people before they die and writing the cause and time of death because if you remember light got caught because all the criminals died of heart attacks and like in japan barely anybody has a heart problem you know because they eat healthy they eat they eat good over in japan so that was immediately sus so after reading the rules izuku started writing down names but smarter writing down the cause of death to be something random you know uh either either heart attacks or I don't know, this is just something random, whatever you can think of. And writing down uh, a set time for them to die. You know, five villains every day at random times. So, over the course of, uh, and that's over the course of like the 10 month training period. So, 
this uh you know would buy izuku some months before they discover anything so during the first month of the 10 month training period light finally returned and he had something for izuku a scythe you know he has uh, with the scythe izuku would have complete control over it so he can make it disappear and reappear whenever and he can make it as dull or sharp as sharp as he wants so uh light trains izuku how to use it basically masters it within three months using some of the trash on dagobah beach to like as training practice so uh you know when he was and when he wasn't training izuku was studying you know light has to increase his iq to get on his level so you know so he can make some big brain plays so about four months before UA starts, Izuku was uh, studying and his mom came home. You know, she was really tired and Izuku really hasn't seen her in days. So he asks why. And Inko says, you know, she thinks there's someone with a quirk that can, you know, kill people by just looking at them or something. So that's what she's been investigating. You know, and Izuku is, puts on his like plus acting skills. You know, he's damn i don't know any actors by name he is michael b jordan or or yeah yeah i think he's an actor right so yeah he is putting on his best act act he's putting on his best act and he's like really like is he a villain and inko says no he's he's actually killing villains but most of them are imprisoned so izuku keeps up his acts and helps his mom to her bedroom and you know brings her some food afterwards so she can rest up so she's not having to exert herself so later on in the light night izuku calls for light and he explains that the police are they're like they're catching on to him so light finally decides to tell izuku about his previous life you know all the mistakes he made and how he lost to that damn l and light tells izuku about a deal for the low low price of half his lifespan he can get the powers of a shinigami not just the eyes but intangibility flight and you guys can actually suggest some powers you think should shinigami would have and i'll give it to light and then i'll give it to izuku in the next part so wait maybe in invisibility eh, I'll, I'll do that in the next part tell me in the comments if you want invisibility and also put down some like um some other like powers you would want to see so yeah you know uh, izuku he's thinking about if he should accept this but Im his immediate reaction was no but later on when he goes to his bed that night he thought about the offer and it would really be useful especially with the type of powers he has so um for the last few months of the 10 month training period izuku clears the trash on Dagoa Beach getting actually very stronger not superhuman but peak human performance like Izuku can lift a car off the ground but not like over his head basically so the first day not the first day of UA but you know the uh entrance exams and that day his mom gets up early you know she wishes him luck and then she goes off to the office because you know she has her investigations to do and izuku this whole time has been like thinking about the deal yeah like light mentioned to him so he calls for light and light is just chilling in his attic reading or something i don't know so he comes down and light is like what do you want and izuku says you know what i accept the deal for the shinigami powers and light is like oh yeah gladly but izuku cuts him off before he could get any further he says i'll accept it but on my terms why don't you take the, the the remaining lifespans of the people I'm killing? And Light is like, hmm, okay, kid, you outsmart me this time. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll accept it. And, you know, they shake on it. And then, uh, you know, when Izuku lets go of Light's hand, Light's hand, like after them shaking their hands, he feels power like flowing through his body and wings sprout out of his back. With that, Izuku starts floating off the ground and, and you know, instead of being like, oh my god, like I'm flying, Izuku is actually pissed, you know, the, the wings literally tore through his shirt, like how is he gonna hide this from his mom, he can't just get a quirk out of nowhere, but Light tells him like he can turn it, turn off the powers, like on and off, 
so his eyes won't be constantly red and he won't have the wings all the time. You know, kind of think of it like Danny Phantom's powers, you know, switch it on and off whenever. So, uh, Izuku focuses and the wings go back in his body and his eyes turn back to green, just like Ryuk said. So, with his new powers, Izuku is ready to face, you know, the entrance exams. He rushes outside ready, ready to fly through the air, fly through the buildings, you know, like Superman. And as he gets through the door, he gets hit by a car because his door is, his house is right next to the road. But his Shinigami powers kicks in to save the day. He is, uh, his intangibility, you know, the car just went right through him. So Izuku is thinking, that was a close one. You know, we probably need to move. Like, that's not safe. So, yeah, he brushes his off, you know, wipes off the sweat running down his forehead. And he's like, Phew. And he sprouts his wings and flies off to school. So, he lands in the courtyard and everyone's looking at him because, you know, he just made a grand entrance. And also, Izuku has the drip on. You know, boy got full Adidas. The Adidas track pants, you know, the track shirt, the, the Yeezys Boost 350 V2 Zebra, you know, for all my sneakerheads. So, he's walking and Izuku has picked up a little bit of Light's personality, you know, his huge ego. And, I mean, when you have the power to write someone out of existence, you would feel like you're above everyone else. So, while he's walking into UA, Izuku bumps into this girl with pink skin. And yes, my child, this is a Mina ship. I don't see much of them, to be honest, so why not? So Mina looks at Izuku and, you know, blushes a bit because she, you know, she bumped into a Chad. Like, come on now. So she starts bowing, saying sorry for being in his way. But Izuku just says it's all good. And they start a bit of a conversation while walking into the exam hall. So they get to the basics, like each other's names, you know, stuff like that. But they had to split up when they entered the written exam room. So, I mean, what can I say about these written exams? We're talking about Deku's intelligence mixed with light. Light Yagami. If you literally search up um, smartest anime characters of all time, light will literally be top three on every list. Bet you a thousand dollars, literally. Yo, my PayPal, yo, like, comment it right now. Like, seriously, like, I'm down to bet that. So, alright. So after the written exams, um, but uh, we go to the like the announcements for the like physical physical one. And President Mike is, you know, explaining all the robots and Deku is sitting next to Bakugo. You know, Bakugo doesn't really recognize him and you know because he's more focused on what President Mike is saying. And the other person sitting next to Izuku was Ida. And you know, Ida was about to get up and start, you know, uh, you know, ridiculing UA for being so careless, you know, he thinks that they forgot about the zero pointers, so, you know, Izuku tells him to, like, chill out for a bit, you know, Baku, uh, Ida was like, no, don't tell me to chill, you know, they should rectify this, and Izuku is like, just hold on, he might go on to explain it, so Ida just sits down and says, Sh sure, and what do you know, he explains it after, like, 10 seconds, and Ida turns to Izuku, he's like, oh my god, thank you so much, you, you saved my reputation. And Izuku's just like, it's alright, man, just, just you know, be, be a bit more patient next time. So, Izuku goes to his assigned training ground and, you know, he sees that pink, pink uh, skin girl again. And, you know, he was going to talk to her, but she looks like she's trying to focus, so he's just gonna, like, no, no, not, not mess up her, you know, zone, she's in the zone. So, President Mike says, there's no real countdowns in a fight, go, 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 go! And like everyone rushes out, Izuku sprouts his wings and flies out as well. And, and you know, he uh, makes his scythe appear. He starts cutting through, um, what are they called? He starts cutting through one pointers, two pointers, three pointers. And the heroes watching, you know, they're a bit concerned because he has a deadly weapon. But Nezu is saying it's all good, you know, he they saw him just sprout it out of nowhere, so they think it's a part of his quirk. So Izuku goes around slicing up the robots like butters, like butters, but what? Like butter. <laughs> and they can't hit him because he is intangible. And the heroes watching are like, this kid can fly, he has a scythe, he's intangible. 
like what is this kid so finally the zero points are pairs and izuku he, he doesn't want to waste time or energy so he starts fly, flying back to the start of the you know training ground but then he hears a scream it's that same pink haired girl again and he's thinking wait what's her name again um lena tina oh mina yeah so he rushes down uh throws off the rubble off mina and then he grabs her and gets back to the starting place and you know when he lands present mike's announces like match over and recovery girl comes to take mina away but you know before they could mina got the time to say it, like thanks to izuku so uh with nothing to do else at that school he goes home for the day so Right here, I want to switch to Inko's perspective. You know, she and her investigative team has been trying to figure out who or what has been killing off these criminals, and they have no leads. So they had to call on their number one detective in Japan, L. No relation to the actual L from Death Note. So, Watari, L's butler, enters the police building with a laptop on it, and you know, when he opens up the laptop, it's just the letter L comes up and he starts speaking so l goes into detail about the murders and brought up things that they didn't even think of like the villains always died either on the hour or like half hour meaning like six o'clock or nine o'clock or on the half hour meaning like 5 30 or 12 30. so with l heading the investigation they start broadcasting to different regions just like they did trying to find um uh light in the original series but since izuku was actually killing villains worldwide i mean it was more concentrated in japan but it was still worldwide so it wasn't very easy to pinpoint his location so they tried different areas um you know they tried baiting baiting him out with the fake l but izuku doesn't act on his emotions like light did you know, a light fell threatened by L, so he just phew, writes his name in death. Simple as that. So, he knows they're trying to, you know, bait him with the TV broadcast, so he doesn't fall for it. But Izuku actually slipped up and L realized. What L realized was the villains that were dying were only being broadcasted on a specific cable news network that only shows in the Shinjuku prefecture which has only like six cities. It's still a large area, but they narrowed it down like considerably from like the whole world, basically. But, you know, uh, obviously Izuku doesn't know this, but still, you know, L, he has some brain cells. So to Izuku's actual first day at school, his mom, you know, she stayed at the office overnight. So he gets up, he makes his own breakfast, like you know, bacon and eggs and pancake, something to fill him up. And he heads out. So uh, when, you know, he heads to school and he gets to the gates of UA, he's walking and, you know, he hears someone behind him screaming, like, watch out. And Izuku turns around and it's Mina running right into him. You know, she was trying to use her acid to skate to school, but lost control. So, and like slammed into Izuku. So Izuku is on the ground. He's holding his head like, oh, like what just happened? You know, making sure he's all right. But then he, he felt something soft in his hand. You know, he starts squeezing trying to figure out what like what it is and you know while he's doing that he's like oh this, this kind of feels nice and then he looks up and sees mina blushing above him izuku seeing this like quickly pulls away his hand thinking he's about to get like just get slapped across the face and he's saying oh my god i like i'm so sorry i didn't know and you know he's trying to plead with mina but mina just held her hand across her chest and she's like you don't have to be so forceful next time and Izuku had to replay what she just said in his head. And he's like, she, wait, she isn't, first of all, she isn't mad. And did she just say next time? Okay, Izuku didn't think that that's how today would turn out, but sure. So he follows behind Mina into class. And when he gets to class, Izuku starts looking at all the faces in the room. And he sees Bakugo, you know, to his disgust. And as usual, he's arguing. Bakugo then sees Izuku and said, no way they let in a quirkless loser like you. And Izuku just completely ignores him and he goes to walk past Bakugo to get to his seat. But Bakugo has other ideas. He pushes out his legs to try and trip up Izuku but nothing happens. To Bakugo it just looked like he went right through his foot but that's impossible. 
he's quirkless, right? He's he's just a Deku, right? <laughs> so Bakugo, you know, still confused. He goes to sit down, and Aizawa finally gets up, tired of these damn kids messing up his sleep. So he says, "Okay, since you since y'all like talking, let's go outside and do a quirk apprehension test." So he tells everyone to put on the U uh, PE uniform and like meet him outside. So, uh, oh, almost forgot something very important to the story. Shinso has replaced Mineta. Slow clap, everyone. I know we all hate Mineta. Small clap. So, why Shinso is being replaced? One, because his quirk is going to be very useful in the future. And maybe Shinso is a certain someone I already brought up. You know, leave a comment to who you think I'm talking about. And also, if you made it this far, comment Shinso the GOAT. And, you know, while you're down there, you know, you can just subscribe, you know, you can like, and you can join the Discord. If you weren't joined the Discord, literally, what are you doing with your life? Like, seriously, like, I'll, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I have all day. I'm, like, come on, I'm not starting the what if without you, you know, just click it, click it, click it. Okay, you, you, you're good? Yeah, yeah? Okay, alright, let's get back into the what if. So... Shinso is in class 1A now, you know, they go outside to do the quirk apprehension test and Aizawa says the person who gets, uh, who got first comes up, uh, come up and Bakugo starts shoving his way through like he owns the place and he gets to the first and asks for the ball but Aizawa tells him to go back and he look, and Aizawa looks down at his paper and he says, yeah, uh, can I get a, a Izuku Midoriya? And he's like, yeah, you came first. And Bakugo is frozen like, how, how did that quirkless loser? And, he, and Izuku comes up, you know, and he's like, get out of my way, Bakugo. And Bakugo like stumbles back. He's shocked like how he's being treated. And uh, Izuku goes to throw the ball, you know, with his base strength plus his uh, Shinigami powers. He added a little strength, so you know, not too much. But yeah, so he throws the ball. He gets a good 450 meters, you know, not... Stronger than Bakugo, but still. So everyone was a bit shocked because Izuku didn't seem like he had any type of strength quirk. You know, he isn't very big. He is more lean. His muscles are compact. So Izuku doesn't look, uh, like, muscular, like, with his, like, uniform on. So Izuku goes back to the students and Bakugo is angry. First, he pushes him and now he, like, dare challenge his strength. So... Uh, you know, Bakugo tries exploding Izuku, and before Azawa could get to him with his scarf, he lets off the explosion right in the back of his head. And everyone was worried, like, Bakugo, what's your problem? And, you know, as the smoke cleared, Izuku seemed completely fine. Aizawa then wrapped his scarf around uh, Bakugo, cancelling his quirk, and he said, If you ever try a stunt like that, you're getting expelled. And he sends him to Principal Nezu. You know, where and Principal Nezu like sends him home for the day. So the quirk apprehension test goes on with all the different events, and Izuku comes first overall with Todoroki and you know some of the stronger students in class 1A coming like right behind him, but Izuku is faster, so that's why you know he got the edge on them. So after these tests, they had their lunch break. During the lunch break, Izuku went to talk to uh, Mina. You know, they ate together and Izuku was like flirting a bit, calling her beautiful and this really got to Mina because she's insecure about how she looks. Like, she looks like an alien. You know, I mean, in the show, you know, she seems very uh, excited but, you know, that could be a show, you know. That could be a show to make herself seem, you know, more, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have a good word but you know what I mean. So, you know, Mina is really happy that someone actually finds her beautiful so... Lunch ends and they have some classes, not really learning anything, you know, stuff you do on the first day of school. And the day ends, and you know what else ends? This what if, because that's where I'm going to be leaving this one off. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. If you liked it, like. If you like my content in general, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next the next, the next, the next, the next, what if?